What's up, bro? It's your boy, Ken and Corey, and I feel like there needs to be a video on YouTube that actually talks about Chapman and Kirby. No one really makes a video that really covers the club and what you want to know. So this is what this video is. Keep watching if you want to know more about Chapman and Kirby. So my name is Ken and Corey, and I pretty much travel and I go places all around the United States. I live here in Houston, and it just so happens that last night or tonight, I just actually went to Chapman and Kirby for the first time, which makes no sense. But I just went and I'm going to talk about my experience with you guys. So if you guys don't know about Chapman and Kirby, Chapman and Kirby is kind of like a sports bar slash club slash, you know, restaurant where you can go chill. It's kind of reminds you of like a prospect park where basically out here in Houston, you can get hookah. There's a deck, there's an inside, there's an outside and really enjoy yourself. And Chapman and Kirby is really known for it's like Sunday fun day activities. And it just so happens that today was a Sunday fun day. When you first pull up to Chapman and Kirby, you're going to realize that there's like minimal parking there's a lot of street parking where people are finding parking everywhere if you can find a space that it's not gonna get you towed then that's mainly what people are trying to do there's a couple places that you can go ahead and be able to park as well but it's gonna be a bunch of random parking lots where people are charging you about probably like 20 bucks a park so just be prepared because you already know out here in Houston they charge you to park that's just a way of life at this point. Chapman and Kirby does have like a valet service though. When you first get there, you can get valet. Some of my friends actually got valet when we first pulled up and they were basically able to get that service pretty fast. So if you got the money and you don't mind paying a little extra to get valet, you could definitely do that. Now, one thing about Chapman and Kirby that everyone will tell you is that if you don't have like pre-made plans, like a reservation or a section or something like that, then you're going to be pretty much out of luck. Because one thing about Chapman is even if there's no celebrity or anybody coming there on Sunday, there's always usually a line outside and it make you feel like you at a Beyonce concert because there's always going to be so many people out there trying to get inside. I would highly recommend probably getting there a little bit before four o'clock because anytime after that, because you're probably going to be waiting in a long line just to get in if they even let you in because it gets pretty packed to capacity pretty quick out there so i was with my homeboy mitch he was celebrating like a whole birthday weekend we had hit up a couple different places and he already had reservations for a section actually like two or three sections right next to the bar is where we ended up now with that said i can say that the decorations and decor when i saw chapman and kirby for the first time it kind of gave me like an eclectic style feel almost retro but kind of but kind of like travel cancunish vibe they had an outside area that you can like rent tables and get like and get sections at and it wasn't too cold to be outside then they had the indoor side which is where we were at right next to the bar where it was pretty much like booths that were like open booths and like a table in front of it um where we were able to get our section honestly it looked like it only could fit about maybe like six or seven people comfortably but we of course squeezed a million people in our section. If you plan on getting a section that's by the bar, I would highly suggest not to because it was it got so thick in there so fast and our section was like literally a part of the pathway to be able to get to anywhere you want to go in the club. So it was a continuous flow of traffic in and out or pat going past our section. And at any given time, if you weren't one of the people that were actually sitting down, then you were getting bumped into consistently by people who are walking by, people who are bringing trays, bottle girls, people who are just there just trying to get from where they are to the bathroom or whatever and it was just it, it was kind of annoying but outside of that inconvenience it definitely was a dope dj the dj was doing his thing the vibes as far as like you know feeling like you are out somewhere and it's worth your time is definitely there i definitely see the hype as far as like the energy the crowd everyone seemed like to be having a good time everyone knew the assignment which is just to show up, get lit, get some bottles, get drunk, get some hookah, and there you have it. Now, I don't know the price of the bottles, but what I can say is that Mitch, I, I, I am not exaggerating, he probably bought at least 20 bottles. The dude did it super big for his birthday. Matter of fact, if you guys can, leave like a happy birthday or something like that down in the comments if you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm giving you guys some nuggets to be able to, give you guys some nuggets that you guys can use so you can be able to make your purchasing decision or decide if you wanna get a section at Chapman and Kirby. Just tell my boy Mitch, happy birthday, and that, that'll suffice. But yeah, I don't know the exact prices of the bottles because I wasn't the one buying them, but I imagine that they're not too expensive because he was able to keep buying a bunch of bottles of tequila over and over and over again. I think only maybe one time there was a bottle of like Henny bought, but it was for a specific person who bought it. But yeah, to be honest with you, it's not really like a whole like masterclass I gotta give you guys about going to Chapman and Kirby. It's really just a vibe. I really just wanted to give you guys 
some images so you can guys can actually see the inside of it with like a professional camera because somehow I was able to sneak my camera in there. I kind of had to like break it down in pieces, but I was able to get you guys some fire footage so you can actually get a good vibe or a good look for what to expect when you go to Chapman and Kirby because I haven't really seen any videos online that really do it justice. So here you have it. Hopefully you guys are liking this video. Hopefully you guys appreciate my hard work of getting you inside and giving you that VIP experience of going to Chapman to Kirby without actually going to Chapman to Kirby. And if you do appreciate it, please do me a favor and hit that like button so more people can see this video and more people can get an understanding of what to expect while going to Chapman and Kirby. But with that said, I'll probably go ahead and see you guys in the next video. I just made it here to my hotel room at the Grand Tuscany Hotel. And I'm about to finish this edit that I'm doing for you guys right now. I just had to narrate a little bit of this situation because I just felt like just dropping a bunch of videos without explaining it wouldn't do this video or this venue justice. All right, guys, peace, and I'll see you guys in the next video.